All right, the next step in the Windsor traffic stop investigation is underway. 13 News Now is the first TV station to show you video of two Windsor police officers pepper spraying an army lieutenant during a traffic stop. The viral video cost one officer his job and launched a state police probe. Now their findings are in the hands of Hampton's Commonwealth Attorney Anton Bell. He'll act as special prosecutor and decide if charges are warranted. Ellie Weatherton is live with the latest. Well, Janet, a judge appointed a special prosecutor after the Isle of Wight Commonwealth's attorney Georgette Phillips recused herself. Now the case is under review with the top prosecutor in Hampton. The investigation into the Windsor traffic stop is moving forward. Brandon Randleman with the Isle of Wight NAACP calls it good news. We were hoping that it was not going to be something, you know, long and drawn out, but it was going to be a thorough fair investigation. Virginia State Police handed its investigation over to Hampton's Commonwealth attorney Anton Bell. A judge selected Bell to lead the case. We are very pleased that the special prosecutor is communicating the process uh, to the community. Bell will look at the evidence from the December traffic stop. A big piece is body camera video. Open the door slowly and get out. It shows two Windsor police officers, Joe Gutierrez and Daniel Crocker, stop Army Lieutenant Karan Nazario. What's going on? You're fixing to ride the lightning, son. Both officers pointed their guns at Nazario and Gutierrez pepper sprayed him. Get out of the car and get on the ground now. You're going to get it again. Now Bell will decide if the officers broke the law. That's what special prosecutors do. They make, it, they make a decision as to whether charges are warranted at all, and if so, what the appropriate charges might be. 13 News Now's legal analyst Ed Booth says there are no time limits on when Bell needs to make a decision. With a high-profile case with an intense level of interest in it, um, you know, from local, state, and beyond, I have a feeling that appropriate resources are going to be dedicated to this and it's going to be a priority. But there, there isn't a timeline where it must be done in a certain period of days. It doesn't operate like that. And coming up on 13 News Now at 6, hear from Karan Nazario's attorneys, what he says in, about Karan Nazario's federal lawsuit and what's next in the process. Allie Weatherton, 13 News Now. Attorney General Mark Herring has requested several documents from the Windsor Police Department. He wants to know if this traffic stop was an isolated incident. That review is still ongoing.